What's up guys this is Shukesh Panik from Gadgets Portal and today I am going to run some benchmarks on this new Galaxy S4 and this device sports 1.6GHz quad-core Cortex A15 processor along with another 1.2GHz quad-core A7 processor and also with Samsung Exynos 5 Octa chipset. The GPU is PowerVR HGX 544MP. Now to show you how much powerful, how much improved is this new Galaxy S4, I am also going to run the same benchmarks on this Galaxy Note 2. Well let's get started and let me first show you this quadrant standard. Well we have got the result and as you can see we have got 12,890 on this Galaxy S4 whereas we have got 6,714 on this Galaxy Note 2. So this Galaxy S4 is much faster than this Galaxy Note 2. The next benchmark I am going to run is Nina Mark 2 and you may know this Galaxy Note 2 sports 1.6 GHz quad-core Cortex A9 processor along with Samsung Exynos 4412 chipset and also Mali 400 MP GPU and the display is an HD display whereas this Galaxy S4 sports a full HD display which is also a major factor in benchmarks. Well we have got almost the same FPS on both of these devices. This Galaxy S4 has got perfect 60 FPS whereas this Galaxy Note 2 has got 58 FPS. Next let's try this Antutu benchmark. We have got this extreme value on this Galaxy S4, it is 28,120 whereas we have got only 14,077 on this Galaxy Note 2 and it is obviously not bad but compared to Galaxy S4 it is nothing. Here is the full breakup, you can pause and check this out. The next benchmark I am going to run is this benchmark Pi and well this Galaxy S4 took 147 milliseconds to calculate Pi whereas this Galaxy Note 2 took 308 milliseconds. Well let's run again and this time we have got 149 milliseconds on Galaxy S4 and 331 milliseconds on Galaxy Note 2. So looks like this Galaxy S4 is twice as fast as this Galaxy Note 2. I'm not going to run this Linpack benchmark separately because this Villamo benchmark has got Linpack, Sunspider for JavaScript and also HTML5 benchmark test included and it is also a very long process. Well, in this HTML5 department which measures the performance of the web browser, we have got 1885 whereas on this Galaxy Note 2, we have got 1764 which is almost near as this Galaxy S4 and higher is better. Here is the list of other devices. Here is the breakup and check this out. Let's run the metal part as well to check the CPU subsystem performance of the processors. Well we have got this 1069 on this Galaxy S4 and on this Galaxy Note 2 we have got 596 which is also much lower than this Galaxy S4. Here is the full breakup you can pause and check this out. Well that's all in this review and surely this Galaxy S4 is the most powerful device in the market. Thanks for watching, subscribe and keep in touch.